Alright guys, doing another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at Fans Project Causality CA-10 T-Bone aka Stunticon Wild Rider. Now I just figured out because I never really rolled this guy. He sucks at rolling. Um, the chest piece looks like... It's like a nub. You see it right there, it's raised and it doesn't... Cause it's not rolled at all. Which sucks. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Anyway, um, you can see he is a close variant of Breakdown with more angled curves. He looks more like a stealth fighter. He's got, um, you know, these more angled pieces on his hood and his tail end. His weapons do store on the back also, but they create kind of a like a tailpipe that like wraps around the car, like it goes like and then out as a single tailpipe, which is cool. It's a different effect because he's got he's got a different gun, which is pretty neat. Um, he's much darker in color than Breakdown. Breakdown is a very nice white and blue and silver. Um, this guy's mostly red and black and uh, silver and a gunmetal. Um, so yeah, he does transform similarly. Um, Vehicle mode, like I said, he just mostly just like break down. There's not a lot to talk about. Except that he doesn't roll, which is very crummy. Oh, I did want to... I forgot to show you this guy, but I wanted to give you a comparison to a modern deluxe. Uh, full Cybertron Jazz. For the size comparison. As you can see, you know, deluxe uh, Jazz is a small deluxe, but they are very comparable in size. Deluxe, I mean Deluxe, uh, Jazz is a bit bigger, um, but he definitely has less plastic, but he is, you know, that is a comparable, comparable size. I'll try to get it like a side view. You can see he is quite a bit taller, but it's a fair comparison. But like I said, if you compare it to other figures in the Causality line, especially other combiners, he's as big or bigger, so there's no real reason to complain. Um, also, the guns actually tab on, not all the way through. They just kind of sit there. I actually had to shave a little bit of plastic to make them fit, because they were too tight. No big deal. Um, transforms the same way with a couple little minor differences, nothing crazy. Split it in half. Disconnect the arms, fold the hood back. Uh, the hood's on, by the way, the tail left section is on a double hinge, so you can get it to sit flat, which is nice. Pull the arms away. And also, when you transform these guys back, you wanna, when you push the arms in, you wanna push them until they click. One. Come on, you. There we go. Okay, stiff. Hey, oh. That's what she said. Hey, oh. Um, also, what I forgot to mention is the chest lift up. Um, pretty sure it's for either for combination or for Scramble City mode to turn him into an arm. But we'll see. That's not none of that's official, so I'm not gonna dwell on that. I uh, lifted up, like I said, these pop out. Um, this guy, when I pull the legs out, they tend to pop off the ball joint. I'm going to try to not do that. Do a little bit more gingerly. There we go. Again, same. You gotta lift it up. And get it seated on there. It's the same thing, you have to lift, pry them open and get them in the pegs. Um, this guy, when you lift the wheel and the hood section up, and you pull the, the front section away, um, because of the design, this actually lifts a lot further up, so you can really get in there. And the same thing with the foot. Fold in the wheel. Push it down. Push 
I just have trouble finding the front. Okay. There we go. I guess you can use the thin part of the front too if you wanted to, but let's use the, th the thicker part. Over here, same thing. Okay, pry it open. Pry them apart, push it in. Come on, there we go. Close the door. Lift up. It actually tabs in here. See that little tab right there? And then there's another one right under this silver part. See? Right there. That's a tricky one. Fold the foot. Like I said, tolerances are very, very, very tight on these guys. The front. Fold the wheel in. Collapse the body. And there we have Wild Rider. Again, these you can put anywhere you want. Wild Rider in his, or I'm sorry, T Bone in his robot mode. So we're just gonna use the camera, get you in position. So it's a little hard to get this guy. Um, shown off probably because he is so dark even in real even you know looking at the figure in hand in real life um, It's still hard to see detail on this guy because he is just so so dark But you can see his His face And he is he does have a different face Then break down Hi. I love you. I love you too. Said it many times. I'm an idiot. Okay, so there we go. Take the gun. Same as breakdowns, except it looks different. There's the front. There's the hole. Drop the gun. Pick it up. Uh, make sure the grip is on the bottom. And you're plugging it in the right way. Um, I like this gun a lot less than I like breakdowns. I think breakdowns is much, much cooler. But this is more like a big pistol than a rifle. But it is what it is. And uh, you don't want to stand up properly. It's the one problem with these guys. They're actually really 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 well articulate, articulated and it's hard to uh, get them to stand always exactly the way you want them to there we go that looks cool um, I did forget to mention in breakdown review that he does also have a thigh swivel and a bicep swivel I always forget about those so yeah there he is in his robot mode there's not really not a lot to say that I didn't already say in Breakdown's review, Car Crash's review, in terms of robot mode. Yeah, just instead of where Car Crash is blue, this guy is red, and where Car Crash is white, this guy is black and gunmetal. But I mean, these guys do look ridiculously awesome. Um, if you don't want to go for the combiner, don't know why you wouldn't want to go for a combiner you must not have a soul but um out of these two if you had to only pick one i like breakdown better car crash i like his color scheme better um he just feels a little bit more cohesive um this guy just feels more like a repaint of this guy even though he basically is but it, you know it just feels more in your hands like a repaint but i mean you need the whole team to make metasaur so we got we got Wild Rider, but if you don't want to go, like I said, if you don't want to go for the combiner, just get Breakdown, Car Crash. But you want to go for the combiner. 
I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this guy having this guy in hand all done up because fans project combiners are awesome and everybody should have as many as they can make even though they only made a couple um, but yeah there is the video review for Fans Project Causality CA10 T-Bone, a.k.a. Stunticon Wild Rider.